Okay, it's 11 March, Monday 2019. Here I shot a video about that there, and I'm going to try and go live with this as, as well, but on a different phone. And uh, here I've got this one here to ship off. And there's another one, and I was going to make a video about how that's a bigger four band equalizer versus the uh, 9 volt versus the 12 volt Panasonics. All right. Hope I'm not confusing you and then I've got some other Panasonic's here and some other radios and uh, there's even a uh, Magnavox and got it plugged into the thing to the anyway too many things to try to explain I'm trying to do this differently every time all right so this was the this was in here that's for sale anyway you can't see that it's in the dark all right fine so much for that so now let's run in here okay put this on the tripod See if the live, okay, is that still, it's still, okay. All right, so now, let's see if I can put this on the tripod, okay. And uh, put that on there, put this on here, all right. And then hopefully, let me, while I'm doing that, let me see if I can tap this to start this. So, start live video, there it goes, and Okay, we got a live video going on. Great. All right, so it shows that much. Okay, so, <clears throat> all right. Uh, okay, so I'm doing this video here. This is a video about the uh, Sony CFS 1020 and the also the Sony CFS uh, 4, W420, I think that's right. All right, and that's, well, that's close enough. So here, uh, oh gosh, well I already got it opened up elsewhere. So a long time ago I bought this in 2008, uh, November 16, 2008, and here's his description of it. One cassette works, the other one doesn't work, still terribly well, all right. Let me go to my pictures, uh, I started, all right, now that's, okay, so seeing that, and hopefully you're seeing it as well, okay. Uh, so here is a, uh, okay, on top is a uh, double cassette Sony uh, CFS, uh, let me see if I still have it saved in my, okay, CFS W420, there we go, all right, that's a CFS Sony W420, and as you can see the play button is depressed already, means it's broken, okay, and it had some parts riding around inside, and then there's a uh, somewhat slightly smaller also with a, a four band equalizer whereas this one has a uh, four has a five band equalizer and a balance and a volume but anyhow uh, okay so this one has a uh, let's zoom into it too let's see here so we have a four band equalizer 100k 4k i mean 100k 100 cycle 100 cycles 400 cycles one kilohertz and 10 kilohertz right whereas the other one has what does it have it has 100, kilo, 100 cycles, 300 cycles, 1 kilohertz, 3 kilohertz, and 10 kilohertz. All right? If you read that, hear that, understand. All right, so, so much for that. All right, so let's go along. Here's the back of it, all right? The back of it, the, uh, the, the 1020, the single cassette model. Both of these take only 6D batteries, all right? So this one um, doesn't show up. It only takes 6, 6D batteries, all right? This one here, the uh, the bottom one though, has the wires to uh, plug in the speakers, whereas the other one uses a 3.5 millimeter mono jack to plug in the speakers. That's about the only nice redeeming fact feature about it. All right, moving along, here's an end view. There again is the double set on top, and, and here's another view without a flash. All right, and just um, again, just uh, that's kind of fuzzy, but oh well. And then up here is the uh, the yeah, other equalizer and like that okay so moving along all right so then here's just a single deck this is the one i actually opened up and took a bunch of pictures of all right so here's that and i'm trying to show that the model number is on the bottom so there it is nine volt flashlight battery cfs 1020 okay and again i tried to get a uh, a better picture of it so there it is right there cfs 1020 that's on the bottom okay on the bottom again all right Here's the top view. It's got a 
a nice antenna, okay, on the handle. And then again, here's the back again. It takes six D batteries. All right. Here it is inside. Nice, clean compartment. A little dusty, so what? And then here it just takes four screws. That's where they go. Just four short little screws. Okay. Open it up. It just it uh, fills into a channel. This circuit board slips into a channel, which is right there. Okay. It just has a simple, uh, the power supply is on the back wall of the case. Uh, and then, of course, here is the, um, you know, it's, <laughs> that's what happened. Okay. And, and then here's a picture of the power supply for those that are power and cord. There's no fuse. It's just a wire. That's the way it came. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, again, just another view of that. All right. And then uh, here's a view of the top. Okay, for those that are, it's got a, I didn't check out what size amplifier chip it takes, but it's got a pretty good, uh, it's got a pretty good uh, piece sink for that, so there it is on top, so much for that, alright, and then here is, again is the issue that it had, it had the uh, melted belt, and that's a, it looks like it's plastic, I'm not sure, it might be aluminum, again I'm not sure, I didn't take it all apart, okay, and Yes, I got my fingers dirty, uh, you know, getting that goo off of there. And uh, The one thing you must know about this particular model is that you must take this, you must release this little lever here with this screw and be careful of these springs. I'm glad I take these pictures because otherwise, when you take this off, this little spring right here, it jumped off and tried to go somewhere and I didn't let it, but, so there it is. So you... It's just one belt, and of course, it's all uh, gears and uh, idler tires. There's an idler tire. Idler tire is in good condition, okay. And uh, and here's just another view. This is the size belt that I put in here, which is about a oh about 85 millimeter or a three and three eighths size belt, okay. I mean, yeah, three and three eighths size belt. That's what I put in there to make it all work. And that's a picture of the inside of the. Uh, Iowa CSR10 that I redid. Okay, of course, when you take it apart, these come off and the springs get out and all that. But anyway, and then there's the mileage on my truck. Okay, and then we should be back to this. All right, so that's it. So now, now that I rattled all that off, okay, uh, and you've seen it in the camera there, and hopefully you're seeing it on this camera on the live view from Facebook. So I have to do so now what I'm gonna do is okay, so here is the now before I get to the other one here, look here is the um here is the let's see, how well does that show up? I gotta okay, well let me just stand up and do this. Here is the um the double cassette model. Okay, I'll just show this to you like that. Well here we can yeah the double cassette model, right? It's got the uh model number on the back. Someone's digging in, who knows? Alright, so there's that. It looks like this. It's got a nice power supply inside. There's again no fuse for the power supply. Okay, and so we we'll put that over there. And then I tried taking this thing apart, and this here is a well. It's just not worth a darn. Okay, like I said, when I first started this, it came with a a broken. Uh, this is the play. Wait, you can't see. Let me wide this out. All right, Oop, go the other way. Wide it all the way out. That's it as far as it goes. All right, so. Uh, so, so this has a bad play button on the recording deck side, so it was broken to begin with from the inside. This one here would have been good, however, taking this thing apart is not the easiest thing in the world. And this is a uh, famous uh, one motor, dual speed motor, if you know what I'm, I'm sure you know what that means there, but it's a dual speed motor, but it's not very, it's... <laughs> It was never made to be rebelted. Okay, that's it in a nutshell. Just can't rebelt this one. Um, so I'm not wasting my time on this thing anymore. There it is. Okay, I'm just going to throw this away. I rarely throw away boom boxes, but this is, you know, it's a Sony. Uh, it's not worth a damn. Uh, not the double cassette one. The thing I showed you, the single cassette, as I had it all apart. It's a very good condition. It works great. Okay, so here it is. Let me. Uh, play it. All right, so here it is. Here's the single cassette deck model. It only has, let me see, the, I tried to find a microphone for it. It does not have a microphone. You must plug in your own individual little microphone. Okay, so let's make a, 
recording. Of course it's running on battery, so let's hit the record. Wait, uh, okay. There we go. So now we're in record mode. There is no tape counter, okay, but the power is on because you see the, uh, you can see the thing above there, all right? So, like I said, today is, uh, what is today? Today is the 11th of March, 2019, okay? So I'm talking to the microphone on the uh, CFS 1020, okay? So I'm talking into here like that, and um, oh, just rambling on, much to do about nothing. Let's flip it over to the radio, see what's on the radio. 99.5, the Wall Street Museum, the full hour non-stop commercial free Texas country. Birthday Bash 21 is coming on Father's Day. Trey Sackens, Clint Black, and tell us some more. Get your tickets before everybody else on Thursday. Details at 99.5thewolf.com. Love how you close your eyes when I pull you. I was doing that so you could hear the balance because I don't have the microphone hooked up to the stereo camera over there, but you should be able to hear the stereo separation between the left and right as I'm doing that. You hit me harder than a train does. You're gonna take me all the way up. Let's flip it off the radio, go back to the tape, hit uh, stop or stop button. Here's that. Let's hit rewind. Okay. Rewind, rewind. Okay. Hit stop again, hit play. And you should hear me rambling on with this uh, fabulous little. Uh, you see the thing about there, all right? So, like I said, today is uh, what is today? Today is the 11th of March, 2019. Okay, so I'm talking to the microphone on the uh, CFS 1020. Okay, so I'm talking into here like that, and um, oh, just rambling on, much to do about nothing. Let's flip it over to the radio. Let's see what's on the radio. <laughs> 99.5, the Wolf's Cookies in the full hour non-stop commercial free Texas country. Birthday Bash 21 is coming on Father's Day. Trey Sackens, Clint Black, and Phyllis and more. Get your tickets before everybody else on Thursday. Details at 99.5thewolf.com. Love how you close your eyes when I pull you in closer. The night's moving fast, but we are taking so You hit me harder than a drink. You go... Anything for consider them. All right, well, it works great, like I said. Now, here's the issue that I found with this particular model. It's not an issue this an issue with the radio, but simply with my own record keeping. Is that I have no earthly idea of when I got this or whatever like that, so I can't put a price on it. So, um, shamefully giving it away. Okay, and that's all I'm going to say about this model. It's a nice model, but. Um, nobody likes three-piece models because the, you know, the speakers get off and, but, you know, the, the speakers on here are, are locked on. You have to release speakers, you know, you have to, uh, you have to uh, push the button here on the side and then it just slides up like that. Comes back down, locks in place and it's not going anywhere, all right? So, same thing for this side as well, okay? So, I know you can't see me over there, but oh well, I'm making this for the YouTube crowd as well as... Anyway, I'm not going to mess with it. All right, so again, these wires I just uh, you know plug into the back here, and you cannot record unless you have a you cannot record your voice or anything else unless you're recording straight off the radio uh, with this model unless you have your own happy little singular mono like I just proved to you that records uh, one of these. If you don't have this, you're not recording any of your voice whatsoever to it. Okay. So the only way you're going to record anything is straight off the radio, and that's it. Uh, there is no input jack. There is no. It just has a function of tape off, or you know, radio off. Tape plays. That's it. Um, FM and AM, and that's it. Got a nice antenna uh, uh, <clears throat> like that. It's got a headphone jack, and that's it. Takes 60 batteries. Goes in the back here. Takes power cord right there. I'll include the power cord with the new owner. And that's all I know about this model. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I gotta go finish this up. And uh, like I said, the only redeeming factor about the uh, other Sony here was that the speakers have a 3.5 millimeter little jack on. So I use these for external speakers for other boom boxes that have the little 3.5 millimeter uh, extension speaker jack on it because these are. Pretty decent speakers for what they are. They're not great, but they're small and you know they're that's it. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed. I've got to shut off the 
this one camera and uh, like that and uh, let me just get this off the tripod and hopefully this has been recorded to the uh, Facebook people let's see here are we on Facebook hopefully you saw that somebody's seen it okay we're still live I gotta turn that off all right so good day bye bye hope you enjoyed it's been 15 minutes all right thanks for watching hope you enjoyed I gotta clean this off and Oh, that's all I can say. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I gotta go. Bye-bye.